Hello, and this is Typical Argonian here with Dual Mini Series Episode 2 Gazgul vs. Abaddon the Despoiler. Now, we'll go through the Traitor King vs. the Prophet of the War. We'll go through the uh, stat line of Abaddon first. So, his weapon skill is 7, ballistic skill 5, strength 4, toughness 5, wounds 4, initiative 6, tax 4, leadership 10, and, and arm save 2. Plus. I'll only go through the important things. He has Mark of Chaos Ascendant, which is, he gets all the Marks of Chaos, so his invulnerable save is 4+, plus, and the rest are in built, apart from the Mark of Corn, which is basically on the charge he gets plus 2 attacks, but if he gets charged, it's, as long as he passes the leadership test, it's plus 1 attack. Uh, Champion of Chaos, Eternal Warrior, Fearless, Independent Character, Veterans of the Long War. Now, he has Chaos Artifacts. And both are specialist weapons, so he gets pl a further plus one attack from them. So he's five attacks base. He has the first one, which is Drachen, which is stat line melee, demon weapon, specialist weapon. It's plus one strength and AP two. So he gets plus D6 attacks from that. He gets range time, well, his Tower of Horus is strength doubled, AP three, melee, shred, Specialist weapon, so he gets re rolled his failed to wounds rolls. And yeah, he's essentially a very good character killer. Gazgul Thrak, on the other hand, uh, Prophet of the War, has a stat line weapon skill 6, ballistic skill 2, strength 5, toughness 5, wounds 4, initiative 4, tax 5, leadership 9, arm save 2. Plus. He has a cyborg body, which grants him a 5 plus invulnerable save. Mega Armor, which is 2 plus arm save, stick bombs, a big shooter. He has the Adamidium Skull Roll, which gives him plus 2 attack instead of plus 1 attack when he's charging. And he's immune to instant death. Prophet of the War basically means that if he declares a war, he may run up to 6 inches, but his arm save becomes his vulnerable save as well. So that's a 2 plus of vulnerable save, which is nasty. And he also has a power claw, which strikes out initiative 1, but he becomes strength 10. So, to, let's get the ball rolling, shall we? Um, oh, I just need to get up. The blue dice will be Gazgul's. 4, 3. The button's going to charge. Gazgul's going to clear Overwatch. 5 plus. One, two, three, five, three hits. Ooh. Uh, strength five, strength is five, four wound. One. One wound, arm save on a button, which is three, so it's passed. Baden goes into combat with Gazgul, and he's going to be using Drachen, so that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten attacks. So that's all the dice I can muster. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. While I get the dice ready and roll for them, as well see Lantern combat. Right, so, weapon skill 7 of Abaddon versus weapon skill 6 of Gazgul Thracker, so it's 3 plus to hit. As we see here, there's a 3, 5, 5, 3, and four, double 4. So let's eliminate the Misses and these are successes. So, strength plus one, so that's strength five, toughness five, so I need four plus on these dice. Ooh, only one succeeded. Whoa, whoa, apologies, apologies. Only one succeeded. So, Gazgul's got a five plus invulnerable save to make. Does he pass it? No, so he's on three wounds. Gazgul has a base stat line of five, at five attacks. So I'll get those ready. He'll be needing fours to hit. Right, so fours to hit. He's got one, two, three, three attacks. Hit. Strength ten, toughness five, twos. He's got two wounds, two vulnerable saves on a button to make. Uh, four plus, so he loses both. 
And so, sorry, uh, he is down to two wounds because he's a four wound monster. Sorry, there we go. Two wounds. <laughs> That's if you could see. Uh, yeah. So, the next round of combat. Since Abaddon is essentially fearless, we move on to the next round of combat. Um, Abaddon attacks again. Initiative 6, 5 attacks, plus d6 for Drachian. And I rolled a 6. Sorry, rolled a 6. So that's 11 attacks. 5, 2, 4, 5, 2, 4, 5, 11. So, 11 attacks. 3 to hit. Wow. 3 miss all in total. Three missed all in total. And now it's the second attack. Well, not second attack, but two wound. Four to wound. Oh, 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 oh. So that's three wounds on That's three wounds on Gasgul. Could be enough. And all those are misses. So three vulnerable saves on Gasgul Thraka. So that's five plus. Nope. It appears Gosgul has lost two wounds. So he's on his last wound, if I remember. Yes. Because he didn't pass it last time, so he's on one wound. Five attacks from Gosgul. Uh, da, 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 five attacks. I'll prepare the dice. So that's five attacks. Two missed. Two missed. Hey, hey. Strength 10, toughness 5, 2 plus. All three wounded. The band has to take his vulnerable save of 4 plus. In which he does not succeed, unfortunately. There we go. And Gasgul Thracker has officially walloped the traitor king, killing him outright. Such is the way of the war. Stupid Umi, I've stumped you flat. War. And that was the end of this duel. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. This was Typical Argonians, episode 2 of Duel. Gasgul Thracker vs. Abaddon the Despoiler. The, and it seems to be that the prophet of the war has held up and fought his own against the traitor king. And manages to stomp his skull in flat. So this is Typical Argonian. If you liked it, please subscribe and share a like. Give it a like. And if you liked it, subscribe and sh give it a like. As I've just said, <laughs> my own mind is weary. <laughs> uh, so thank you for watching. This is Typical Argonian. Signing out, 42.